created by Irving Mansfield. Now your host, Clifton Vadiman. Thank you one more. And welcome to this show business. Well, here's how we work it. Each of our guests this evening has something on his mind that he'd like to talk about with our panel of show business experts. And tonight, as always, the panel has as regulars, first the distinguished playwright director, Mr. George S. Kaufman, next America's family humorist, Mr. Sam Levinson, and as our special guest, the lovely and talented television star, Miss Betty Furness. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to our co-sponsor, Carter Products, who will bring you a dramatized... Ladies and gentlemen, here's the talented young dance team, Bud and Cece Robbins. <laughs> Got a lot of admirers, Bud and Cece. What do we talk about, Cece? The vacation. Vacation? Kind of late, isn't it? Well, we mean a special kind. Oh, Cece yeah. and I have been married now for seven years, and Breckley. people are beginning to tell us that we need a vacation from one another. Seven years, huh? Yes, and we like it. We dance together, and when we're not dancing, we're working, taking care of the baby baby. And family. In fact, we take him everywhere with us, uh-huh. and it works out fine. But uh, we never surprise one another because we never see anything different. <laughs> so what was working in the baby, if we did want to get away from each other, how would we do it? I don't know. I'll ask our expert, shall I? Well, Button C.C. Robinson believe in raising their babies themselves, very virtuous of them. So they spend all their time together. Now, if they did want to get away from each other, that's uh, temporarily, of course, how do you think they'd do it? Mr. Kaufman, would you, do you have a formula for separating this lovely couple temporarily? How can they get away from each other? Well, I, away have, from I, have, well, I have a sensational answer to this problem. I have little doubt. <laughs> Mr. Fadiman, I've been thinking while they were dancing. My brain has been worrying. I hope it didn't bother you. I suggest one of them stay where he or she is and the other one go somewhere else. Yeah. 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 You know, you never, you Tell never, me, how old, how old is your baby? 20 months. 20 months. Well, I think if you had asked the baby, you would have got the same answer. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that that baby and I have just about equal brilliance in this Not only problem. A, a bigger problem connected with us is how Sam Levinson and I are ever going to get away from each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing only, to go away. Only fooling Sam. I, I love every pound of you, and that's a lot of love. <laughs> Uh, Miss Burnett, uh, what do you think Bud and Cece Robinson ought to do? They're together all the time, and they have a good time, I know that, but they kind of have nothing to tell each other because uh, one is where the other is. All the time. Yeah. Well, I, I can't look at, on that as an enormous problem, and I think that they should tell the people who tell them to get away from each other to get away. Hmm. Because I think that those people are, they're the kind of people who would tell a happily married couple to get a divorce while they're still good friends. <laughs> but don't you think, though, that seven years particularly with the with this baby trailing them all the time. Isn't that a tough on folks? Yeah, there's almost nothing worse than being trailed by a baby. <laughs> well, this is a very bright baby. As a matter of fact, I'm all for it. I think they should have the baby with them all the time, and they look very happy to me, and no problem. Isn't she yellow? <laughs> now, Mr. Levinson, see if you can do a Kaufman act and upset these people. My baby does the rough. She leaves a little trail behind herself. <laughs> <That's>, uh... <laughs> I don't know which to answer. The first problem is, should they separate from each other? See? That I would say, yes, occasionally. It's very good. Now, well, the other question is, who is to do the separating? See? Who is to sacrifice and allow the other the leisure and the pleasure of being alone occasionally? I think the man should do it. He should be the chivalrous one. We had an example in my house because my father did it. He, he once came to mom and he said, you look tired. Look how terrible you look. You've been working hard. You're nervous. You're irritable. You need a vacation from me, so I'm going to the country for two weeks. <laughs> so that's one way of doing it. It looks to me as if we've got you welded together permanently, but I don't think you really want to get away from each other, do you? No. Now, fess up. Fess up. <laughs> However, if you do, maybe Mr. Kaufman will fix it up when his brain starts worrying again. By the way, that worrying brain looks lovely on screen. I just want to tell you that. Nice to have you with us, Thank people. You. Good to have you with us, but Come again. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's one of our favorite comedians. This, of course, is Larry Stewart. You've been, you've been uh, working hard all summer doing an hour TV show, haven't you? 
Yes, and uh, an hour is a long time to be good and funny every yeah. week. And uh, some of the critics said said that. Yes, I mean about your show. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, it's, it's nice to have the critics on your side and sure. say nice things about you, but unfortunately sometimes they don't always do it. That's true. Well, Larry Stewart, who's had one or two disappointing experiences like all of us, wonders just how important it is to get praise from the critics in the TV business, that is. Of course, in the legitimate theater, it's true that half a dozen men can kill a play overnight and occasionally make one. I don't think it's quite the same way in TV. Uh, what do you think, Miss Furness? I think so.